You're listening to the WBT Podcast with Michael Lodge. Listen to all of our podcasts at www.wbtpod.com. Stay informed. Let's get started. This is brought to you by Lodge & Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll-free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge & Co., your source for sound business and tax services. And welcome to another podcast of the WBT. This is Michael Lodge. I'm so happy that you've joined me. It's a bright and cheery, well, not really. It's kind of a drizzly day out today, but every once in a while the sun does come out and it becomes a nice day. Can you believe it? We're now into July. So that means we have already gone through six months of 2018. Six months. So let's kind of recap what you've done for your goals. Have you met your goals? Have you achieved them? What are your goals for the next six months? I tell you, if we don't have goals and objectives, and if they're not in the back of our mind, they don't have to be written down, but they need to be in the back of our mind at all times so that we remember what we've set our path to be for 2018. And I tell you, it's so important that if you're in business, if you don't know what you want to do for the next six months, then you're just going to sit there and do nothing. I love looking at the year. And I like to see exactly what I've done and where I've come and where I've been and how I'm going to get to the next step that I want to take. And if we don't do that, not just in our business lives, but in our personal lives too, in our relationships that we're molding with people and our family and friends, how we're dealing at things with the church and how we're trying to get more involved and become leaders in the church and also leaders within our communities, what are our goals to setting that straight? It's important that we think about this because it creates us to become better human beings, better individuals within our communities. Those of you who are out there and you are demonstrating and you are chanting and you're doing all this nonsense, that's what it really is, is nonsense because you're not getting anything done. If you took that time that you spent marching for four hours in the streets and chanting hate and disgust and everything, if you would have taken those four hours and gone down to your community center where homeless or the veterans need your help, think about what you would have accomplished that day that would have been so far greater than the hate chants that you spout. Those of you who have businesses and talked and talked and talked about what you're going to do, but you never took the next step to do it, think about where you are today and what you can do to correct that for the next six months. You have until July through December now to do great things, but it's up to you to put your finger on it and get it done. Your family's not going to help you. Your businesses are not going to help you. It's up to you to understand what you need to do. So I, I, I think it's so important that we as Americans set a good, good example to the rest of the world. We set a good example to our country and to our communities. We're getting very closer to July 4th. Think about how the individuals who fought for our independence had plans, had goals, had objectives to give us that independence. 
And we as Americans should continue to fight for that independence, fight for our liberties. And as a matter of fact, I want each and every single one of you who are out there demonstrating and chanting and moaning and groaning, look up the word liberty and ask yourself if you want to lose it. We have to be very cautious and very careful about this great gift that has been given us, this word liberty. And it's liberty for all. Not just for a few, not just for those individuals who think they're running the government, but they're running into the ground. They are destroying our liberties. But it's for everyone in America. I have a friend. He's worked for me for a long time, and we we worked on getting his immigration things done through the legal process in which we did. We won every single time. He's now about ready to take his oath to America. And he told me yesterday how excited he is to take this oath because it was his goal to always be an American. And even though he's had this green card, he has contributed to his communities and to his family, to his co-workers, to other Americans. He came here through the legal process because he had a goal. And now he's achieving that goal and soon he will be taking his pledge to become a great American. I'm not just an American but a great American. So see what goals and objectives can get you? They can get you to a lot of places as long as you focus on what you need to do. If you're going to go around this world and around this country angry at everybody, hateful at everybody, You're not going to get any place except to more anger. And anger destroys an individual. Such deep anger destroys your ability to use common sense. To think the process through. Because you have become filled with hate. That's not a good goal. That's not a good objective. It destroys relationships and families and communities through hate. We see it every single day. And I I talk about it so often because I... Listen, I'm in the middle of Hollywood. And it's all around me with people talking about hate this, hate that, hate what this person said. Hate, 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 hate is in almost every single sentence. but it accomplishes nothing except to make you more angry. I often wonder, if you put that anger to the side, put the hate to the side, and you sat down and worked out the problem, how much better off we would be as a people of a great nation? Listen, you don't have to Love your president. You don't have to. But what you should love is your ability to make a change within your nation, within your communities. And if you don't start with the communities first, if you don't identify the issues that need to be changed in your communities and work at it, then nothing's going to get done. But if you take off the gloves and start working Listen, you've got homeless out there that have no food, they have no places to bathe, they have nothing. What have you done about it? You have veterans who are living on the streets, you have drug addicts that keep using drugs and destroying their lives. You've got families who are in poverty. What have you done to help those individuals in poverty?
And how about, if you want to talk about children, how about our own children who have such problems reading English anymore? I think I think I saw a study the other day that said 64% of American children have difficulty reading. When was the last time you sat down with a group of kids and read together? And tried to help them learn to read. So you see what I mean? You can be out there and you can be marching and you can be demonstrating. You can be doing all this worthless things. But it gets nothing done within your community. What about the people in our communities that need help? You have forgotten about them because you want to take this political agenda and get nothing done within your own community, for your own people, for your own nation. So I want you to go out there today, this very moment, Google the word liberty and what it stands for, and then ask yourself, do you stand for liberty? Do you stand for this nation's constitution and the freedom of this nation? Or do you want to forget about what this nation was designed for, especially at 4th of July? And the liberties that were given you as a gift. I want you to think about that. But let's get back to goals and objectives. If you want to make a change, if you want to make a successful business, if you want to make a change in your life and make it a successful life, start setting your goals and objectives in the back of your mind and do it. That's what goals and objectives are for. To move you forward. Now, if you want to go backwards, don't even think about it. Just keep on moseying down the same old path and get nothing done. It is up to you. It is, it is up to me to make the changes in our life, to remove any hate that is standing in our way, and look at the road ahead of us. And ask ourselves, what can I do to make that road a better road? It's up to you. It's not up to me. It's in your heart, it's in your mind to make the changes necessary to make the next six months the most productive months in your life. It's up to you. This is brought to you by Lodge Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge Co., your source for sound business and tax services. Thank you for listening to The WBT with Michael Lodge. Join us again tomorrow as we explore more about business and taxes. Follow us on iHeartRadio and go to our podcast website at www.wbtpod.com and listen to all of our podcasts and read our blogs.